Hey there! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset someone's password. And we'll be using Port Swigger's uh, lab for this. And um, I'll be explaining um, like what a host does. Um, but I, I, want, I, want you, I want you to know that um, essentially what we're going to need, like if you do this in real life, you're going to need, um, you're going to need an, a server, some sort of server. And I know there's a couple of servers out there, but a really great one to use is um, website hook and such and so you can use this one if you want you can use any one but this is a great one uh, you can set one up for yourself or you can use this essentially anybody who visits this site doesn't matter how you visit let's say you go here and and you, you wanted to visit it and you can do like question mark and then say hello equals me and as you take a look here, <laughs> right here, right? I don't even have to put hello me. You can actually just visit it like plain, straight up. And here, same thing happens, except there's no query string. So essentially, this is a URL. Uh, like you can actually drop information in the URL. Let's say someone's password, say, um, See, or you send a message to someone, say uh, message equals this is like you shouldn't put any spaces is me, and essentially it's it's capturing everything, and this is just an online server, so you can use any server, but this webhook inside is very convenient. It's right there. It's um all you have to type in is webhook uh, webhook dot site and you can use that but in burp suite they have their own uh, server so we will be using that let's close that let's access the slab and let's get into the nitty-gritty of this we probably need to turn on our foxy proxy turn on the burp suite for this okay here we go so essentially, in this case, we are tasked with uh, logging into Carlos's site, and we're go what we're going to do is we are going to reset his password to get into his into his uh, account, in, in a sense. So, first of all, let's go to my account, and most accounts have this forgot password here. And so let's uh let's let's see. First of all, we have to know uh, what happens. So the first thing you should do, you click on this. And uh, we're gonna try to intercept everything. So this is our account, Wiener. Okay, that's our account. And I'm gonna intercept this just to, to see what happens. So let's go to proxy and let's turn on the intercept. Oh, let's drop this. Okay, here we go. Let's turn on the intercept. And we submit it. And it's captured right here. Essentially, this doesn't really give us much information, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, but let's send it to repeater. And let's name this something. Let's name it uh, "forgot" because that's a forgot forgot page. So, and let's turn turn this off because we don't need it anymore. Let's go back our page. It says here it's sent to our uh, link, to our basically our email. Let's go to our email. Our email is on this uh, exploit server. So this is a ser this is a server we control. And this is essentially the the base URL, just like the webhook is exactly the same thing. And let's go to email client. So let's check our email. And the email is right here. It says here to click on this 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 pat click on this to reset your password. When you click on it, and it gives you like a new page and it tells you what the new password is. So let's so before we do that, let's go over here and just intercept that as well and see what happens. You click on that. Click on it. Okay, and here it is. And so when we clicked on it, it's trying to send. Um, well, it's trying to send this token. So it looks like all you need is a token. Like there's nothing else here. It's sending. It's only sending a token here and it's sending via get. Let's send this to repeater. And it said it's basically it's so base all it really needs is a token to reset your password. Let's turn on this intercept and see what happens. It brings you to this page here, this uh, new password page. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reset my password for 
but we want to reset Carlos' spat. So let's go back here again. And this time, we're going to do the same thing for Carlos. So let's go to Carlos. And um, what we're going to do, we're, again, we're going to try to intercept it. Turn our intercept on. And oh, well, let's go back to repeater. This one was the res reset page. So reset. Because I like the name, I like the name on my uh, my session. So this is reset. Let's go back here. The intercept is on. We are gonna hit submit, and it intercepted. And essentially, we are sending Carlos. We are sending this. Uh, we're sending a, uh, a request to Carlos's email, but we don't want. We don't have access to Carlos's email. But we do have access to our server email, or just a server in general. So, essentially, you have to understand that this host, this host header, is basically the domain, the domain of, basically Carlos's Carlos's domain. And here, this is this is a partial URL, and this is a partial URL. More specifically, this is the base URL or the domain, as you may want to call it. And this is the specific direct directory in that domain. So let's just forward this to repeater. So essentially the full the full URL, the full link is basically this. That is the full link right here. That is the full link. Essentially but essentially the way it works in terms of these post requests or these get requests is that they break the link up into two parts. The the domain part and then the directory part right here. So the, the typical full URL is typically broken up into two. So we have no access to this domain here. However, we do have access to our domain, which is essentially um, our exploit server. So we have con full control of this. We see everything. Anybody who visits this site, anybody who sends a request to the site, anybody who sends a post to the site, we see everything. And remember that webhook page? That's the same thing. I can do the same thing over there. I can so it doesn't matter as long as you can control this the server, you can see everything everything that's requested. So I'm gonna copy this and I am going to go to oh here. So we still have our intercept on and we're gonna for the for the base URL we're gonna put our server there. So this because we control this. And all this other here, this password, forget. This is not really important. What's important is this, because we control, we control this. So as long as you control the um, the domain, where as long as you control the server, and that's that's what's really important. So we are going to go here, and we're going to turn this off, and now it's sent. And we are going back, let's go back to our exploit server, and let's check check our access logs because we see everything. That occurs. Anybody who requests anything, anybody who sees, anybody who visits our site, we see it happening. And over here, you take a look. Someone tried to send us a post. Right here. Oh, that's not it. Right here. Uh, here. You can tell. You can tell. This is like this is us, and you can tell this is someone else right here. That's someone else. And it sends. You see this here. So basically, they're sending a GET request, and typically GET requests sends all their information through the URL. So, we see right here, you try to send this token, password token. Let's copy this. And let's go back over here. Remember earlier, I sent it to the repeater, and I said earlier, this reset, all we need is the token. Well, here it is, the token. So, we're just going to replace this token with the one from Carlos's. Let's paste that in. Let's send that over here. It says it's okay. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to read uh, show response in browser. I like to use show response in browser. Let's go back up here and uh, let's go here and just paste that in. Paste and go. And here we go. So it's asking for a new password. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Very easy. One, two, three, four. Submit. And now we have uh, so basically. We reset our we reset Carlos's password. Let's go to my account. I step in Carlos and let's try try the new password one two three four. And we are in. And that's it. That's sort of the basic way. All you really need to all you need needed to do was essentially alter the host. 
basically, so we will alter the host to, to something that you can you can control to your server, and um, and I said a great website we, uh, that you can use a really quick server that you can use is this webhooks.com, and I could have done the same thing. It's I could I could use this if I wanted to. I could use this, and I could have put that in. Um, I could have put that in for the host, and I, it would have done the same thing. And I because you see every, we see every request that occurs. Okay, that's it.